What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're looking at some new Poppy Playtime secrets. That's right. Today's all about Poppy Playtime, and I'm excited. It's been a while since we actually have, like, talked about Poppy Playtime stuff, but there's been a new video on Mop Entertainment's channel, so you guys have been telling me for, like, the past week to check it out. Like, there's new characters, new secrets, so I wanted to watch the video and then maybe even compare it to Chapter 2, like, see the things that they've changed. So... Let's begin. So this is the video here. I haven't seen it, but I am excited. Um, I Honestly, the, the developers talking about stuff seems really cool. So um, let's start it. Number one, okay, chapter so two's go. alternate opening. There was Poppy alternate Playtime opening. fans will remember that chapter two opens with us exploring Elliot Ludwig's office I was just and eventually there finding right Poppy now. in a hidden room below. But chapter yeah. two didn't always start this way. Oh. And a now deleted opening of the chapter. Ooh. After freeing Poppy from her case, you wake up and are immediately greeted by the Whoa. sight of Poppy peeking out behind a door. The sequence Ooh, continues creepier, with you though. following Poppy as she slinks throughout various hallways. Following Poppy then led you back outside to where Huggy Wuggy fell in Chapter oh, 1. Huh. What followed was a 10-minute parkour sequence down the catwalks and conveyor belts That's from Chapter strange. 1, <laughs> eventually leading to a power puzzle that activated an elevator, taking hmm. you down to the game station to meet your new foe, Mommy Longlegs. Now, you're probably wondering why this never ended up in the game. There were a few reasons this alternate intro was abandoned. The first reason was chasing Poppy was just turning out too funny. I was the just sequence thinking went through that. three major iterations, <laughs> starting with you straight up chasing Poppy to follow her. Wait. But that just ended up being way too funny. Yeah, it version does. It 2 was slower. Poppy peeking out behind doorways and walls, but that was almost even funnier. In the last version, you see Poppy's shadow moving across oh, the floor wait. and walls. This version was definitely the creepiest iteration, okay. and it's the one we ended up sticking with for quite a long time. But in the Whoa. end, it was abandoned for just feeling a little too cheesy. The I, second I reason was simple. It was too long. Yeah, imagine if the game started up and there was like a whole thing. I feel like it wouldn't make any sense. Like you would just start up the game and be like, oh no, where are you going, Poppy? This feels much better. Cause when you're starting up the game, you're literally like, whoa, like brand new area. You're thinking about the area first and it just shines right onto the door of Elliot Ludwig's office. I think it's perfect the way it turned out. Um, <laughs> it's crazy to think that if somebody was like, nah, this is perfect. We would have a totally different game. Just imagine if this whole thing was just gone. You just selected <laughs> this whole area. You just run around. You could run and just find Poppy here, just like waving. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Man, that would be a really different game. So where does it go into? You went through a 10-minute parkour sequence oh, and a wild goose chase without really learning yeah. or seeing anything interesting. Ah, see? Which leads us to the final reason for the scene's abandonment. Mommy Longlegs had no mention or buildup. To fix oh. these shortcomings, we completely redid the intro mm. sequence. We first added Elliot Ludwig's office Which is to the amazing sequence, now, right? so you had an interesting location to explore. Mm -hmm. We then changed following Poppy to Poppy talking to you to make her a relatable character instead it's of just a cheesy that horror doll that you follow somehow. around. Then we added a scene forcing oh, you to watch Poppy right be kidnapped before your eyes to build up the threat of Mommy Longlegs. That was a perfect and scene. Finally, we had you jump down a slide rather than jump down catwalks for 10 minutes. In the end, these changes are why the alternate opening of Chapter 2 never saw the light of day. Huh. Whoa, I do really think it's like one of the coolest thing to see how complicated like developing a game can be because you're writing an entire story. I mean, I guess it depends on if the developers even care, right? And the developers obviously care. They're thinking about, you know, how you're introduced to the game, how it feels when you're just starting it up, the threats introduced, the story. It's it's beautiful. Like the whole development of stuff. It's amazing. Molly's so, intro scene is one of the hardest things intro? to get right in chapter two. The scene went through multiple versions of dialogue and pacing. Whoa. These alternate versions, while relatively similar to the final, had a few key differences. Hmm. Here's the first alternate version. Oh, wow. oh my. Oh. Hello down there. It feels weird. I wasn't expecting company. Okay. Always <laughs> oh wait, they like they block something out. Oh, I think in the first version of the game, um, they would say the name of maybe the prototype because it says blank always tells mommy when guests are on their way down. Which also it sounds funny because they're going like, ah! like they're they're like it's almost like it's censored. Oh wait, whoa. Okay, so something is there. Something always tells mommy. Oh. See, these are the things that I'm like, what if there's secrets Mom hidden in this video about the new chapter? Ooh. Mommy wants to take you somewhere special. Oh gosh. It's easy to get lost down here. Some have lost their way and never found it again. Huh. But Mommy won't let that happen to you. Mommy always knows where you are. Huh. <laughs> 
It's very creepy, but it's way so, different. So yeah, in this version of the scene, there were a few key elements missing from a storytelling standpoint. Oh, okay. One, Mommy's introduction to the story didn't influence anything about your oh, current objective. Oh, that's true. Two, the player had no reason to feel threatened by Mommy Longlegs true. because she had no prior buildup at the time. So we addressed some of these issues in version two. Why, oh my, hello Ooh. down there. I think you lost this. Do you want it back? Hold oh, the hand. Oh, oh yeah. Of course not. <laughs> Though mommy assumes this is something you want back. <laughs> She's just standing there Finding all deposing. you two <laughs> down here was surprising. Oh, Always they blocked out. Like so they had a story so element with somebody down. there, huh? Huh. Always tells mommy. Okay. Mommy loves to play games. Do you like to play games? How about you play some games with mommy? Oh, mm. you don't have Yeah, to. this one didn't mommy make as much just sense, keep huh? Little Miss Poppy, if you don't want her. But mommy already knows you love to play. Some have lost their way and never found it again. But mommy won't let that happen to you. This is so mommy cool to see. always knows where you are. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, that one was so a lot better than the first one. So this version one of the big issues. Mommy now kidnaps Poppy to give the player a motive to play mm. mommy's games. But then we realize something. The player doesn't even need Poppy. Oh, yeah. Who cares if she's kidnapped? <laughs> so mommy showing up still didn't affect your current objective. Hmm. So here's what we did to solve it. We had Poppy be the only one who knows the train code, so now you need her to escape. We also added that scene where mommy mm. comes out of nowhere and pulls Poppy down into the abyss. Problem solved. Now mommy steals your only way of escape, and watching mommy kidnap Poppy makes her introduction yeah, the all the more threatening. The animations in this game are so good. Wow. So first off, I have to say, like, man, the iterations that the game has gone through, it, it really puts into perspective how much work they put into it. It's nice. See, with like, which with each iteration, it's like they improved drastically. I I still am like, I'm mind blown at like what the game would be like is if they just kept the first version of everything. Like you chased her for 10 minutes and then there she's like, ah, do you want to just play some games? You want to? Just play for no reason. And I didn't even think this going into this video, but I feel like we're we're getting secrets. We're getting little hints hidden in the background of this video. I'm sure they're gonna talk about like the characters, right? Cause you, oh, I can already see it. But we're gonna get to know some secrets and maybe we can piece together some like ideas because it seems like from the thumbnail of this video, Daisy's gonna be really important in the next chapter. And they were already talking about, uh, like a character that they like bleeped out the word. Is it the prototype? Is it Daisy? Like hanging around and swinging from places? What if it was Daisy? She's like, Daisy always tells me about the new people or something like that. Ah, oh, this is so cool, this is so cool. Okay, so let's see. Fans will remember that the game station features a giant mural of Mommy Longlegs, oh, yeah? a playground for the kids, mm -hmm. and entrances to the station's three main games. Oh. But it didn't used to be this way. The original oh. design of the game station was absolutely oh. massive and featured a mural on the roof with Ooh, a giant sun and moon to me, illuminating but I, I the I station. Do like it. Although it looked jaw dropping, hmm. there were two major issues. It was unrealistically big hmm. and was completely empty. It didn't seem like it could have been a real functioning location it for also kids. Reminds the second me of version featured from, a new design uh, for the Nights sun and moon and a lot more color in the room to oh, make it more inviting nicer. for the kids way, way who visit. There. However, it was still completely empty. So we went back to the drawing board, keeping in mind what a place like the game station would need to be a fully functional and realistic location. Hmm. In the end, we shrunk the room, added a big playground for the kids to play Which in while they waited for sense. their turn in the games, added structural supports for realism, oh. catwalks for Playtime Co. employees oh. to observe the things going on, and of course, added some classic Playtime Co. style branding. Number four, musical okay. memories lost design. I think the craziest thing to note about the whole changes and stuff is, is the catwalks make a lot more sense. Now knowing about the lore of the game and I, how everything was kind of just being observed, this is so important. Like if that wasn't there, it really changes the whole dynamic of the game because you have this like toy factory, right? That's supposed to be nice and innocent and has all this stuff, but then you got the dark creepy elements. And I feel like this one blends it perfectly to just have everything down here feel all nice, but then up here is like the crazy stuff. So with the, mu the musical, musical memory- Musical used to have a much different aesthetic than it currently does. In the original version, the walls were completely covered in TV screens Ooh. of various sizes that would display the name of the button that you're supposed to press. And the buttons you press during the game used to be suspended by big mechanical arms. Oh, wow. The reason this design so was abandoned was fairly straightforward. 
The aesthetic was too high-tech looking for Playtime Co. Yeah, the array does. of TVs and mechanical arms made the room feel closer to a spaceship than a toy factory. Mm. On top of that, we also decided that we wanted to include an area where Mommy Longlegs mm. could watch you play. And that just wasn't going to work in a curved room with a bunch of TVs. Mm. Number 5, oh, Cassie wow. Cutie Pillar. Short. Some of you may actually be aware of this one. Oh. Cassie Cutie Pillar was the original character that was going to be chasing you throughout the statue's I kind game. of remember that. She was that. a giant caterpillar with a pink snout, beady eyes, and two antenna. Cassie oh. actually appeared in the official Chapter 2 trailer oh, yeah. before she was scrapped. I remember looking Though at that, Cassie like, was cute, different now. We felt we had the opportunity to make the character more unique by creating an unholy combination of two different animals. This is a little so too we went back like to the adorable, drawing. right? We spent a long time like picking the right face for yeah, this new character. I'm way better. Something that didn't feel too goofy for the statue section of the game. Oh, wow. Eventually, we settled on the design that would become PJ Pugapillar. Wait, that is this so interesting to see. Look at all the designs. I mean, this one is kind of creepy right here. I'm not going to lie, but... Man, you don't even really see the actual uh, decision of PJ Pugapillar here, but it seems like this one right here is kind of close, and this one is... But whoa, it's crazy, but credit to the people who are in the art department there, just drawing like hundreds of different characters to get them all designed right. Okay. On the design so. that would become PJ Pugapillar. Yes. This was one of the later changes we made to chapter two, uh -huh. as we had already made a completely finished model of Cassie, complete with first simulation oh gosh, realistic eyes. eyeballs, as well uh -huh. as various art of Cassie throughout the game, having to be swapped with the new PJ. Oh. Number six, oh, that, yeah, Daisy okay. the Flower and Wait, seven okay, other so kids. Daisy the Flower, this is the one I'm excited about because it feels like we got but Daisy the Flower in the trailer and we never saw anything. So it feels like in chapter three, this is gonna be really important. I feel, I feel, I hope. Okay, let's this see. This is probably the- This right here is so cool. Look at these strings and everything. And like the eyes, they're so creepy. Um, I think we saw something before about how this was supposed to be Bunzo, right? I feel like Bunzo fits a little better in the, uh, what is it, the memory game, right? Because of the, the clapping symbols. They'll probably say something like that, right? But I mean, look at this face. I I want Daisy to be in the new chapter so bad. Okay, let's see. The most well-known one on the list. Oh yeah, Very see? similar to Cassie Cutie Pillar, oh, look, Daisy right? was the original character that was going to be lowering towards you during the musical memory oh. game. She was a flower marionette wow. suspended on strings with a very unsettling face. Yeah, look at that. Like Cassie, Daisy also appeared briefly in the trailer for chapter two. See, yeah, yeah, Daisy yeah. was abandoned because we wanted a character with oh. more theming and a way to alert the player that death was getting closer oh. and closer. And this is where things got difficult. We went through seven completely different character Whoa. concepts for the musical memory toy. A monkey, that must a clown, be so much work a fox, to design a princess, each one of those characters. a bluebird, another bird, a ballerina, a ballerina bird, and finally, a bunny. Ah, we like the go. bunny because yeah. he had great theming with his symbols and clothes, mm -hmm. as well as his symbols serving as a great audio tool as you hear him descending upon you in musical memory. After a few slight design tweaks and color variations, go, we finally right got the Bunzo Bunny we all know today. Daisy the flower wasn't completely absent from chapter two, however, oh, as we see oh, very whoa, whoa. Did we you all see know today. That, that, that was the, the um, what is it, the jump scare? And wow, look at that. That is crazy. I feel like, two, okay, you know, they could, they could still use that, right? They could put that in the new chapter. They could still use it. As oh, we wow. see various art and posters of her throughout the game. This is as exciting. Well as a full I feel like this is also kind of a semi-teaser for the new game, <laughs> right? Number seven, Mommy Longlegs alternate designs. Whoa. Mommy Longlegs went through dozens you of designs right. before I she became the newly pink like maniac we all know today. This is so cool. Two of these scrap designs actually show up in chapter two as old Ooh. blueprints for Mommy Longlegs. Ah, that doesn't fit Her first right, design but I, I do was a newly like plush doll with button eyes. It was cute, but that was the problem. Yeah. The design wasn't eerie enough. Mm. A few other things on top of that was she looked too young for her name to be Mommy. She didn't have enough resemblance to a spider for her mm. long legs pun to make sense. And we wanted to try making her a plastic toy to make her feel more unique from Huggy Wuggy. Mm. For the next designs, we really tried to uh, push the spider look, like, as feel well as like make her right appearance character. a bit more creepy. She did look like a spider now, but too much so, mm. to the point where we didn't think it would be realistic for Playtime Co. to create a toy like her. Another issue was this design didn't mm. necessarily really look like a toy at first glance either. The next designs really tried to push the creep factor in the face and reel back a bit on the spider elements. This design pass is also where we came up with the idea of Mommy having limbs that could stretch. Oh. Originally, her limbs were going to extend oh. in the form of plastic tubes, similar that to the way a feel, lightsaber toy yeah, might very toy -like. This design was scrapped because of the challenge of making her limbs bend while also being made of extending plastic oh, tubes. Yeah. <laughs> the variation of colors also made her design feel too sporadic and complex. 
To solve these problems, we came up with yeah, the concept of elastic plastic, a substance that Playtime co-created that can stretch like rubber but also retain its shape and position. We also simplified whoa. her color pattern and gave her a spherical waist similar whoa, to- Wait, whoa, look at this. You know what's weird in all of this as well? I, I have the thought of like, imagine if they went even further and changed the characters even more because right now I'm like, oh, the characters feel perfect. But what if somebody thought the characters felt perfect before, you know? It's so weird to think about like, what if this design didn't even go through and they did another design? And then I'm like, oh, that one was perfect, you know? It's just weird to think about things in the development uh, like sphere. Wow, what they wanted to have webs <laughs> be like connected to, uh, what is it, mommy long legs? I do think it's better that she doesn't like hang from webs, but she actually like uses her arms and legs to stretch around. Spider's abdomen. Oh, we wow. concepted a few alternate designs after this oh, one with more spider-like features. However, the problem from before still persisted that it was too spider-like and creepy for Playtime Co. to have realistically made. Mm. Number eight, the six lost toys. Whoa, what's From this? the beginning of chapter two, we knew we wanted to have new toys present in each of the games in the game station. Huh. These became Bunzo Bunny, the Mini Huggies, and PJ Pugapillar. But before those were made, we had six different potential characters created to fill these roles. Whoa. Jolly Clown, who went through a few design iterations. Lovebug, who actually appears in whoa, chapter whoa, whoa, whoa. two I as think a rejected there's like, toy. There's things that we can read about them. It could glow, it leaves, Bears? I can't even read that. What does that say? It says need something. I can't read. T types of bugs? Huh. Of bug who oh, actually appears in Chapter 2 bugs. as a rejected toy. Oh. Psy Dog, a robot dog Whoa. toy. Sunny Buddy, who also appears as a rejected toy. Oh, yeah. Lily the Frog, a frog on roller skates. <laughs> and Monster Truck. Hey, that one Monster kind of Truck. Wait, that's a cool one. <laughs> Wait, I want that monster truck. It's uh, <laughs> that's cool. There's just something about this one where he's kind of like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's so crazy. Look at all these characters. Man, I want to see Number them nine, all now. the quality control room and the production room. Ooh. In chapter two, before entering musical memory, we take uh. a detour to the molding room where you create the green electric can. Oh. In an early version of the chapter, every game you go to was going to be paired with a factory room similar to the molding room. Really? Wackawuggy had the production room and statues had the quality control room. Huh. These rooms were never implemented into the game and were scrapped during the concept phase because they just seemed like unnecessary filler. Oh. Number 10, oh. I mean, it's Mommy interesting, Long Legs like, Death Scene. If it was One of chapter two, Two's most infamous moments is the death oh, of Mommy yeah. Longlegs. I mean, come on. After minutes of running away from Mommy, you're backed into a corner with no way out. This is one of the craziest, just as all hope like, seems lost, scenes. you pull down a lever that activates a grinder. Mommy's arm is pulled into the grinder and she desperately tries to escape, screaming for her life as she's slowly crushed to death. Now, you wouldn't think it, but there was actually quite a bit of debate behind the scenes about how Mommy should be pulled into oh, the yeah, grinder. Oh yeah, probably, right? In the alternate version of Mommy's death, her head is actually pulled inside and grinded to a pole. Oh gosh! And her lifeless lower half to fall Jeez. onto the floor. Here it is. That would be so crazy. I think that's almost too much. Like, you, you feel sorry for Mommy Longlegs towards the end, right? What have you done? Oh man. You make me part of him! Imagine that. That would be even crazier. Right? We decided to scrap this version for two reasons. <laughs> One, the imagery of Mommy's upper half being dragged away oh. would be more resonant than her lower half yeah. being dragged away. And two, Mommy's head being grinded up might have just been too gruesome to show <laughs> without the game getting an M rating. Yeah. Probably. So there you go. Those were 10 lost secrets in wow, Poppy Playtime right Chapter. And then these are all of these characters. Wow. I mean, it, it also kind of puts into perspective how many characters they probably went through in the development of this new chapter. It's been a whole year since the last chapter came out. How many have they made where they're like, eh, nah, duh, we don't even want that one anymore. This is so cool. I mean, out of all of these though, I feel like, which is the one that like fits the most? Like, I hold on, I can't imagine the owl being there. I can't imagine the dog. I do imagine the flower, but it's also kind of weird because of Daisy. Daisy looks, it, it just looks like, like a rip off Daisy. This one, eh, this, you know what? I could see this one right here. Maybe this and this. The other ones kind of just feel like cartoon characters that don't belong, right? Like the bluebird just feels like a cartoon character and the ballerina is like a cartoon character. It doesn't really feel like poppy playtime creepiness, you know? Okay, oh man. And then this imagery right here of Daisy and they gave her the most realistic eyes. It is, it is just weird. Though, what do you think? What could, what role could Daisy play in the new chapter? Maybe Daisy, it was like, 
you can make it into like mommy long legs like like helper almost and she's just swinging with her like marionette like things and she's like you took mommy from me you know something like that oh and then she could lead you towards the prototype oh that would be creepy all in all though seeing all of these characters was insanely cool i wonder what this would have looked like if they actually implemented this in the game it i agree though it doesn't feel like truly like the factory you know it looks too different i mean this is where it's at though i mean this main area it's also very dark right now i don't know how I, I broke the game a little bit so what do you guys think i'm i'm excited for the new chapter i'm also really hyped to see all these characters because it gives you an idea of how they're gonna actually take you know the most care in making the new game but yeah i think i'm gonna leave it here i hope you guys enjoy it i hope it made you smile that's all i want to do every single day you gotta stay tuned because this week we're doing crazy stuff we're doing a lot of mods we've done ripoffs of Gardner Ban Ban, which was really fun too. But yeah, I hope I can make you smile every single day. Thank you for subscribing and joining the DAC Pack as we go on to 3 million. I thank God every day I'm able to do things like this. You know, whether it's watching some new stuff or playing ripoffs or doing mods, I just want to make you smile every single day. So hopefully I can in the next episode, probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.